This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. And they mean it, too, even more so, I think, than in The Walking Dead. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Bigby Wolf is, of course, the big bad wolf. Uh, and in this uh, world, he is the same wolf from Little Red Riding Hood and the Three Little Pigs. Whoa, five today again, if you missed it. A record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. The artwork in this game is, is fantastic. They did a really good job of making it look like a comic book. They did a good job in The Walking Dead, but I think they did an even better job here. It's obvious that uh, they've gotten better with time, more practiced, uh, the engine has improved. It's just pretty spectacular looking. The Wolf Among Us. He's the Sheriff of Fable Town and he rides around in a cab. That's because he's not an official sheriff, at least recognized by any government agency of the United States. Any county government. Tenement building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. So this is a prequel to the comic series. It takes place before. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit! Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross I'm my arm. I'm gonna be nice to this Look, guy. No harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? No, not really. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! So, what am I walking into exactly? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh! This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time. Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. So I'm pretty much going to play this nice prick of shit. Tell I can spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. So for the most part I'm going to play this try try to play this as a cross between what I would do in this situation and what I think the character of Bigby Wolf would do in the situation, you know, based on what I know of him from the comics. I like this new UI too. I think it uh, works better than The Walking Dead. Take a look. Take a good look. You know who I am now? 
But in The Walking Dead, you need to do everything. So do I knock on the door or do I kick it in? Last time I think I kicked it in, so I'm going to knock on it this time. Okay. Doesn't seem to be working. God damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- I'll fucking kill you! Alright, what you do? Feel like it matters what I ask. What are you gonna anyway. fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Again. Woody, this is your last warning. Woody. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. <laughs> Let's go over here. Go fuck yourself. Ow. Miss sucker. Let's go to the bookshelf. Back off, asshole. <laughs> Let's go to the sink. should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? What did I say? You fucking... Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Uh, Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! Ouch. The fables are tough. They're tougher than regular people. Ah, 
shit. <clears throat> Poor car. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't really? be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. form. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> I just had one bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. Poster's a spoof of an 80s mo action movie poster there. These lips are sealed. Sorry. It's kind of an odd way of putting that. These lips are sealed. Not, I can't tell you. Hey, you like my ribbon? Sure. Beautiful. Thank you. Don't know if she expected me to actually say that. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Well. Shit. Obviously got up and walked away. It's out there somewhere. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. You do such a good job with expressions. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. 
Yeah, I'll give her the money I've again. Got, uh, I gave it to her last time. I'll give it to her again. 20, 40, 70, this isn't one of those choices 58. that I was talking about. That's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I'm gonna clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey. So they do a really good job of facial expression. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Well, he was. I'll At see one you point around. He was. Wolf. He's trying to be better, though. But they didn't call him the big bad wolf for nothing. One of the things about Fable Town is when you come here, you leave your past behind you. It's kind of like joining the fr Foreign Legion, you know? <coughs> Basically, what you've done in the homelands is forgotten, and your life starts over. He's trying to reform himself. Soundtrack's really good too. The music for The Walking Dead was good. It wasn't real upbeat or happy. Of course this isn't real upbeat or happy either, but this is a bit more interesting. The music for The Walking Dead fit that world very well. This world is different, so the music is different, like what they did with it. The voice acting is really good too. A lot of the same voice actors. Okay. Alright, well that will do it for part one, and uh, go ahead and stop here. Thanks for watching, and uh, come back for part two.